if you went through every week of the NFL season, some weeks you might have five really good matchups you want to watch. But some weeks you might have two. And there's a lot of dog food football out there. And if Thursday night is the fourth on the pecking order, combined with a short work week so that bad football or bad football teams looks even worse, combined with, you know, if you allocate your Saturdays for college football like I do, and your Sundays for the NFL like so many people do, and then you have Sunday night football that you got to watch, that's almost always the best football game of the weekend. And then maybe you try to squeeze in a Monday night as well to also tell your wife or your husband, your girlfriend or your boyfriend, your family or your parents or whatever that, oh, yeah, I'm also wrapped up Thursday night because I'm watching more football then. It's hard. It's just hard. And that's where our expectation is that Thursday night football should be like all the other football. And the fact is it's just not. So it's never going to be a premier event. There's just too much football and it's too far in the pecking order. Now, if the NFL started giving Thursday night games better matchups, well, then that changes things a little bit. But are the Patriots going to play on multiple Thursday nights? Hell no. Are the Steelers going to play on multiple Thursday nights? No. But you could see the Patriots three times on a Sunday night. The Steelers, the Packers. Dallas will play three or four, five primetime games. But they're not going to play five Thursday night games. You're going to get one team once because nobody wants to play that. So, again, you're just restricted. Those games will never be great. They just can't.